Hello dear students, my name is Shubhan Chakravarti. I teach English in Techno India group of the school Shiliguri. In this video, I will discuss the very first chapter from Hornbill. The name of the chapter is The Portrait of a Lady. So, let's get started. Chapter discussion from Hornbill. The name of the chapter is The Portrait of a Lady. Written by Kushwan Singh. First, the important characters. Number one, the narrator's grandmother. Kushwan Singh presents his grandmother as a symbol of love, care and affection. She was a highly religious and conservative lady, but a woman of generosity and nobility. She was like everybody's grandmother loving her grandson immensely and caring for him with deep love and concern. She was not physically attractive. She was old, fat and short, with a stoop and hobbled about the house with her hand supporting waist, reciting her prayers and telling her beads. In the village, she was actively involved in her grandson's life. But when they shifted to the city, the bond of friendship was broken. Yet, she presented a picture of peace and contentment always. Her love for animals was reflected in the way she fed the dogs and sparrows. She did not like the English school but never interfered. She accepted every decision of her grandson regarding his life with a calm and composed manner. Now the second character discussion will be of the narrator. Kushwan Singh, the narrator, in the story The Portrait of a Lady, was a sensitive and observant person. He cherished the memories of his association with his grandmother. He has beautifully described the details about many episodes from his past life that were related to his grandmother. His description of his grandmother's old age, her movements, her religious beliefs and her association with sparrows reflect his ability to describe the common things with sensitive delicacy. He was a great author, grandson and human being. Now after the character descriptions, now I am moving on to the next one, summary of the portrait of a lady. Now dear students, let us go through the summary ones. The portrait of a lady is written in first person and is in the biographical mode. In this story, the writer gives a detailed account of his grandmother with whom he had a long association. Kushwan Singh recalls his grandmother as short, fat and slightly bent. Her silver hair was scattered untidily on her wrinkled face. She hobbled around the house in white clothes with one hand resting on her waist and the other telling the beads of her rosary. Kushwan Singh remembers her as not very pretty but always beautiful. He compares her serene face to that of a winter landscape. During their long stay in the village, grandmother woke him up in the morning, plastered his wooden slate, prepared his breakfast and escorted him to school. While he studied alphabets, she read the scriptures in the temple attached to the school. On their way back home, she fed stale chapatis to stray dogs. The turning point in their relationship came when they went to live in the city. Now the author went to a city school in a motor bus and studied English, law of gravity, Archimedes principle and many more things which she could not understand at all. Grandmother could no longer accompany him to school nor help him in his studies. She was upset that there was no teaching of God and scriptures at city school. Instead, he was given music lesson, which according to her was not meant for gentle folk, 
but she said nothing. When Kushun Singh went to a university, he was given a separate room. The common link of their friendship was snapped. Grandmother rarely talked to anyone now. She spent most of her time reciting prayers, sitting beside her spinning wheel and also feeding the sparrows in the afternoon. When the author left for abroad, grandmother did not get disturbed. Rather, she saw him off at the railway station. Seeing her old age, the narrator thought that it was his last meeting with her. But contrary to his thinking, when he returned after a span of five years, grandmother was there to receive him. She celebrated the occasion by singing songs of the homecoming of warriors on an old dilapidated drum, along with the ladies of the neighborhood. Next morning, she got ill. Although the doctor said it was a mild fever and would go away soon, she could foresee that her end was near. She did not want to waste time talking to anyone. She lay peacefully in bed, praying and telling the beads till her lips stopped moving and the rosary fell from her lifeless fingers. To mourn her death, thousands of sparrows flew in and sat scattered around her body. There was no chirping and when Kushwan Singh's mother threw breadcrumbs to the sparrows, they took no notice of the bread. They flew away quietly when the dead body of grandmother was carried away for last rites. Now, let us move on to the theme of the story, The Portrait of a Lady. In The Portrait of a Lady by Kushwan Singh, we have the theme of innocence, friendship, love, connection, kindness, selflessness, respect and acceptance. The story is written in first person and is in biographical mode that I have already told you previously. It is a perception of Kushwan Singh of his grandmother through his own eyes. A very touching story that shows the special bond and connection between a boy and her granny and the changes which comes in their relationship as time passes by. For him, his grandmother was something close to idealism and despite many differences in their likings, he always loved and respected her by heart. Her love for him was also very deep. Not only that, the grandmother was an epitome of love and sacrifice, which is highlighted as the main theme. The whole story revolves around her. She laid her heart not only for humans, but also for animals. She was very religious, but with the elapse of time, the grandmother is left alone, but she accepts then and never complains. So acceptance of every situation that comes before you is another one, probably another most important theme. Thus the grandmother is also a strong woman as she accepts whatever comes before her. After her peaceful death, the sparrows even mourned her death as they stopped chirping and they did not even eat the pieces of bread thrown before them. It highlights the change in relationship also with the passage of time. Everything in the world is to be faced with courage. It is often the worst time in one's life when they realize their true potential as the grandmother became a strong woman after the departure of author. Now I am moving on to the moral of the story. See, the moral of Kushwan Singh's story, The Portrait of a Lady. The story portrays a grandmother's perception of, a grandson's perception of his grandmother and how their bond of love undergoes changes. The story puts light on the need of companionship and friendship felt by our elders. It also shows how love and emotion is experienced not only by human beings alone, but animals and birds too. Thank you students.